Hi everybody, it's your old pal Chuck and I am back with another review and I am excited to be able to bring you today from the Transformers The Last Night movie line. These are Turbo Changers Hound and Barricade. Now apparently the Turbo Changer line is going to be for everything that's like a simplified figure. These are one step changers. I really like the Turbo Changer line but if they're going to call everything Turbo Changers, then they might as well have just left One Step Changer and what have you. Um, got these from a buddy off of Facebook. Um, they are starting to trickle into stores now, and some stores are breaking the street date. Um, basically, we're going to start off with Hound. So we'll just roll Barricade out of the way. Hound is a new mold. It is actually the only uh, one of... Hound and Barricade are the only new molds in Wave 1 of the Turbo Changer One Step line. Um... And it's a gun tank. Very nice. Um, rolls quite nicely. A little bit of floppiness with the arms, as you can see, if you tilt it to the side. But, you know, what do you want for a very simple figure? Transformation is very easy. What you want to do is grab the front end, bring this up, over. You're going to uh, swing it all the way around. Go ahead and snap it into place. There is a tab on the back of this uh, black plate that will fit into a slot inside the torso, flip up that back section, and there you have Hound in its robot mode. Like all one-step changers, really the only articulation is here in the arms. Going back to vehicle mode is very simple. You just unfold everything, bring it back around, swing it around, and everything will slot into place right underneath. So, easy peasy, we'll pause and we'll take a look at Barricade. Barricade is back for the Transformers movie, uh, The Last Night, and this is an all-new mold. Um, I'm not sure how well it's showing up, but instead of being black, it is a very, very dark blue uh, police car. I think it's kind of cool. Who knows, maybe we'll see this slightly retooled down the line into Prowl. We did get a Prowl that was based on its G1 look back in the Age of Extinction line. So, it rolls quite nicely. Transformation's kind of interesting. What you want to do is grab the back end, grab the front end, right here um, where this uh, bumper guard is under the hood, and just fold it down and over. And basically, you're going to have to help bring the hood around. That will just sort of slot into space in the back there. And there you have Barricade in its robot mode. Like Hound, the only articulation is in the arms, but in this case, he does, if you remember from the deluxe figure, have a nice wrist-mounted gun. Well, that's here, and it spins on the one-step figure. Really like the look. Um, I did not like the look of uh, Barricade in the original film. I thought it was too insectoid, misproportioned. Um, Dark of the Moon did him a little bit better. That was the only version of the figure I got. This one I really like. It's more normal proportions. The deluxe figure, which we'll take a look at in another review, is a little bit more solid as well. Now, to go back into uh, vehicle mode, just bring the arms down if you had them up. Grab this back end, uh, which was the front. Swing it forward. Just uh, use your thumb, push everything up just like that, and it will slot and snap back into place. Really, Nothing really tabs in. I think it's all friction, so that might wear down over time. So... That's about it for Barricade. We'll pause, and I'll give you my final thoughts. Okay, um, just a few notes. Hound does end up being a little top-heavy in uh, robot mode, so if you're going to stand him, as you can see, I did swing the arms a little forward. That's all you have to do to counterbalance him. Barricade's perfectly fine. Um, that front bumper makes a great uh, little stand right there, the tripod. Um, I've always liked the one-step changers. I like the gimmick. I like what they were trying to do, and I think it's a great way to get core characters from the movies into the hands of younger children who might not be as sophisticated to do a more complex transformation, or frankly, parents who really can't afford the more expensive figures. They make fun desk toys, and I do like that they work in little play features, like the uh, spinning gun on uh, Barricade and the fact that on the back of Hound's arms are those giant cannons. I know many uh, collectors are just going to pass these by, but, 
you know, they are worth a look if you're interested. Um, like I said, I got these off of Facebook from a friend. He got a case in early. Um, they have been showing up in Game Stops. And I think some Toys R Us's. Uh, the official street date is the 24th, so definitely you'll be able to find them then. Now, if you're wondering about the other two figures, Optimus Prime and Bumblebee, those are straight repaints of the Age of Extinction one-step changers. I already um, have you know, reviewed those some years ago, so you can definitely check out my playlist on uh, Age of Extinction if I have one, or just look up those figure, uh, the reviews there. And, you know, they're very simple, nothing uh, too crazy there. So, this is your old pal Chuck for Hound and Barricade. We will see you next time.